Good afternoon, Robert Scribbler. It is September 5th, 2018. Thank you for joining me for another climate change and clean energy video blog. Now for this segment, I am going to discuss the updated plug-in sales scorecard for August electrical, uh, electric vehicle sales provided by Inside EVs. But before I do, I'd just like to talk in general about the need for, for electric, electrification as part of the clean energy transition and, and also the general need to, to support 100% renewable energy and clean energy business models. And because not only does a 100% a clean energy business model provide, provide a good basis for a company that, that doesn't generate moral conflicts of interest or conflicts of interest or, or various just general conflicts between, say, for example, a internal combustion engine based segment of, of profit generation and, and market exploration versus renewable energy based concerns, but it also just generally provides an incentive to go all out on clean energy production in a, in a period of time where it's nece necessary to, to very rapidly reduce carbon emissions. So, so just with that in mind, I just like to show you this graph from inside EVs and I'm going to be providing a link to, to the report that I, I'm talking about here. And I just like to say that we're going to need a bigger graph because August electric vehicle sales has greatly exceeded the 30,000 month, uh, 30,000 unit per month rate and now appears likely to be closer to 34 or possibly even 35,000, which is a new record for U.S. electric vehicle sales, and this new record has been driven by a massive wave of, of Tesla Model 3 sales. So moving up to the inside EVs graph, we find that approximately 17,800 Tesla Model 3s sold in the U.S. market alone in August, and, and that's coming off the back of, of, of a July in which Model 3 sold in excess of 14,000. So growth continues, although growth is not quite as rapid as it has been over recent months, particularly in the jump between June and July. But once you add in Canada and the fact that some Model 3s are starting to sell in Europe, this, this number is, is likely closer to 18,500 to possibly as high as 19,000, implying a weekly production rate, average weekly production rate, that is very close to, to 5,000 Model 3s per week. So, so some amazing news here from Tesla when it comes to Model 3 production and sales in August. It's also worth noting that, that the present rate of Model 3 sales in the U.S. is approximately 10 times that of the Chevy Volt, and the closest competitor to Model 3 sales is the Tesla Model X, at which Tesla Model 3 is outselling at a rate of about 6 to 1. The, the closest non-Tesla competitor is the Toyota Prius Prime, which Tesla is outselling at a rate of about nine to one. So Tesla Model 3 is, is dominating the electric vehicle segment of the automotive market, but the rate of sales for Tesla Model 3 is enough to put it at the top of, of the mid-size, uh, the mid-range mid priced luxury sedan market as well. So, so some amazing news here with Tesla Model 3 making up more than half of total electric vehicle sales overall for the month of August. Now, it's worth noting that Inside EVs has indicated a 32,925 
total sales so far, but has not received word from, from a number of, of mid to, to low rate sales electric vehicles. And it's likely that we'll see this number bump up by another 2,000 or more, possibly hitting as hitting close to the 35,000 total number, which is a five, about 5,500 5 above last month's record and, and shows a, a rather strong rate of growth nearly doubling last August or August of 2017. So some extraordinarily good news when it comes to electric vehicle sales for the U.S. market during the month of August. And it's, it's looking like this, this trend of strong electric sales growth will continue primarily driven by Model 3, but it's also worth noting that there are a number of other automakers that are looking to sell electric vehicles into the U.S. market. So, so what we're likely to see is a continue, continuing follow-on wave driven by, by the spear point of the Model 3 as other automakers try to compete with Tesla. My personal opinion is they're going to have a, a tough time Everyone's again talking about Tesla killers, and in all honesty, show me the Gigafactory. Show me the massive level of battery production that's going to support a single automaker beating Tesla or, or getting knocking Tesla off the, the top of the heap, as it were, at least over the next three years. I don't really see that as a... Um, as a likelihood, possibly in the three to five year time frame, if some of the other major automakers really get their act together. But in any case, an amazing report for, for August. I'll be providing this, this link for you. I encourage you to dig deeper. Thank you for joining me. I'll be chatting with you soon.